Unlike many other grand strategy games, especially of the Paradox flavor, Imperator Rome is unique in that its time span is short enough, ranging only from 304 BC to 27 BC, the time passes fast enough that it actually makes sense that it has, and it does have, a way to win, and that way is known as score, and I want to quickly teach you how it works. You'll see this is the score card, it shows you the top 10. If you or any players are under the top 10, you'll be displayed under number 10 with your relative number there. This is the amount of score that every single nation on the list has, this is what nation it is, and you can jump to that nation's capital like so. This is towards the end of a PvP we did, and you can see I came in basically towards the top. Player number two was here, player number three and four were here, although this one really took a nosedive because by this save they were about to have a civil war. And that's relevant. Why would that make you lose a bunch of score? Why would anything we did make you gain score? Why are the Seleucids, who are so massive, the lowest out of the four players here, but then Gaul, for example, who's not insanely impressive compared to me and the Seleucids, or Albion right now either, have so much score. That is because of how the calculation works here. There are two numbers to take into account. Your total scoring pop happiness. This is the amount of citizens that you have. These are specifically integrated population types. And this is multiplied by the happiness value that they have. Then there's a starting situation divider, which exists to reward tiny nations like Gaul, which only has 88, for doing well, as opposed to nations like Rome, which start out better off than a lot, so it's a 229, or Seleucid, which start out already one of the strongest nations on the planet, has a 500. So the total number that you get from your pop happiness of your citizens, multiplied by the amount of these pops that you have, will then get divided by whatever number you see here. So Gaul with only 88 has to do way less to get a better score than the Seleucid Empire. You can easily go to any location on the map and find your citizens here if you just want a quick check of some citizens, where they are, how they are. Another way you can check generally how happy a population should be is to find that culture here and see how they're rated. The integrated ones are the only ones that really matter because only your citizens count towards the generation of this score. Doing decisions as well as researching certain technology, for example, such as open religion, integrated culture, happiness up, are ways that you can increase the happiness of your citizens and the more of these citizens you acquire the happier they are this number goes up placing you at the top when you get to 27 bc and the end screen runs you'll get a little display summary of how well you did it'll be more grandiose and more positive the higher towards the top of the scoreboard you are and worse once you start getting off the top 10 for example that is how you win Imperator. In this sort of genre, players do tend to like to set their own goals, but for those that are having trouble setting their own goals, this game hands you one on a silver platter. So hopefully that has helped you understand how score in this game works. Its importance is really to be valued by you. I can't tell you how important this is for your playthrough. Hopefully this information has been helpful to you. Thank you guys very much for watching and I hope to see you on another video.